What is good? We are back. It is your boy Pablo Gray, and we have another reaction video. Um, today we have a clip from Fox News, and um, the title of this clip is "Trump to temporarily suspend immigration as coronavirus precautions." Um, very interesting title. Um, sounds controversial to me, but um, yeah, man. Before we get into the clip, you like what I'm doing like these reaction videos, find it informative, find it valuable, I guess, smash the subscribe button, like, share, comment, appreciate it, let's do it. But we begin with Chief White House Correspondent John Roberts, he's live from the North Lawn for us this morning. Hey John, good morning. Sandra, good morning to you. Let's start with immigration. President Trump saying that he is going to implement this temporary restriction on immigration for a couple of reasons. First is to protect American jobs from being taken by immigrants. You'll recall that some 22 million people have filed for unemployment insurance over just the last few weeks. The other reason that... Let me pause it right there. Listen, I know there's a lot of... There's a lot of... I guess animosity when it comes to immigration and immigration laws and one thing I will say I do not agree with how the Trump administration is handling the wall and how the how ICE is you know how ICE is uh, going about splitting up families and and shit like that I don't I don't agree with it I, I believe there has to be a better way of going about things but um I do understand what he's saying right there in that point where he's talking about trying to protect American jobs. The reason why I say this is, for example, right now in Africa, dealing with uh, Boko Haram, uh, you can see it, shit, even like with Akon and, and what he got going on trying to build his city. What happens is because these people don't really have industry at the moment or can't really work, these immigrants can come in. And they can start doing things that the the citizens of the country can't necessarily do or or say like right now, because things are going on, there's a financial crisis. People don't really have money, but say uh, these immigrants come and they're funded by their country and their country is saying, yo, we'll build for you. We will do all of that. But in return, we, we need this, this and that. Now they didn't create a job by building. They're getting paid and all of these infrastructures are being created in your country and you can't work there. Jobs being created that you can't get. It's going on in Africa right now. I mean, it's going on everywhere, but specifically what I find important, Africa and possibly here. Go back to it. That the president wants to do this is because of health. He wants to make sure that people don't come in from overseas who might be infected with the coronavirus and then start the process all over again here in the United States. Listen to what the National Security Advisor Robert O'Brien said about it earlier today, pointing to the president's steps early on in this crisis to limit travel from outside of the United States. Those bans save thousands or tens of thousands of American lives. And so the, so the president is not going to take political I'm sorry, this man came on so funny. <laughs> Look at that face. Let me stop. My bad, my bad. I, I didn't really catch what he was saying. Hold up. Out of the United States. Those bans save thousands or tens of thousands of American lives. And so the, so the president is not going to take political decisions here, but he's going to look at how he can protect Americans both economically and, and protect their health. And, and so this is a temporary issue, uh, just like the prior bans were temporary, and, uh, and we're doing it to, to keep the American people uh, safe. Democratic reaction, as you can imagine, was swift and harsh. Gerald Nadler tweeting, quote, President Trump now seeks to distract us from his... Listen. And I know it ain't just Fox who does this. All these news stations do this shit. And the people within the mix is responsible for it, too. It's just like, why Why is it all of this beef, dog? Damn, you know what? I didn't even notice on, on this side of the screen where they're talking about these deaths and the cases. So, it's two million... Two and almost two and a half million confirmed cases in the world over 
about 171,000 deaths. And it looks like uh, America is responsible for about, I'm going to say at least almost a quarter of it. Yeah, so almost a quarter of it. That's just kind of weird to me. That's a little weird to me. I should do the math. I should do the math on this. You know what? Fuck it. I'm going to do the math on this. So, 787960. My bad. That's not the right way. 42,000. 364 divided by 787,960. So, I don't want y'all to think I'm playing or nothing, but we doing the math right here. That's not even 0.1%. That's half of half of 0.1% of people who are confirmed getting this and people dying from it, whether the numbers are fudged or not. I don't know if you can see this, but 0.05, not even 0.1%. 0.1% would be a tenth of 1%. So not even half of a tenth of a percent people are dying from this i just wanted to get that out the way i'm sorry i caught my eye but let's let's see let's see what these people are talking about so as president trump now seeks to distract us from his fumble covid19 response by trying to put the blame on immigrants the truth is many immigrants are on the front line protecting us as doctors nurses health aides farm workers and restaurant workers so let me address this dumb shit. Everybody got a beef. I don't understand this shit. It's always something. And you can see this man focusing on the dumbest shit. And this has nothing to do with the people on the front line, the health aides and all of that. The man's trying to prevent some shit from happening. That's all. The man is just trying to prevent some shit from happening. It doesn't sound like the shit going to be permanent. It doesn't really sound like it to me. I haven't heard nobody address when he plans on ending it. But nobody got a fucking plan anyway. Nobody got a real plan anyway, but as you can see, this is what people are focused on. No one, no, everyone focus on the negative. No one's looking at the positive. I don't even care if it's your enemy. If it's your enemy, bro, you could at least be like, all right, I can agree that at this point is right, but all this other shit, bro, is wrong. How hard is it to do that? But instead, niggas like the beef. People just want to beef. So all 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 of the the right shit that that's going on you you're not paying attention to it cuz you're so focused on the negative it, it's it's a tactic that's been going on since elections have been going on it, it it's kind of repetitive and it it just baffles me that people are still doing it and, and y'all still going with it like this is this is what i'm saying stop electing people that do this shit Stop electing people who can't point out what's right and what's wrong. People who only point out, point out the wrong, that's all they're going to end up doing is doing wrong. I promise you. Miss fumbled COVID-19 response by trying to put the blame on immigrants. The truth is many immigrants are on our front lines, protecting us as doctors, nurses, health aides, farm workers, and restaurant workers. And this from Congressman uh, Joaquin Castro. This action is not only an attempt to divert attention away from Trump's failure to stop the spread of the coronavirus and save lives, but an authoritarian-like move to take advantage of a crisis and advance his... Bruh. Okay. Y'all, I know y'all remember just this last week, maybe a couple of days ago, they was just talking about how they had a problem with Trump not trying to close the borders. Bruh, why is this a problem? And this is what the fuck I'm talking about. You, people want to say this is just something to, so it get the get the people to stop talking about the man not doing right. Nah, that's just what y'all want people to keep talking about. Point out the good, bro. 
You you know this is gonna stop people from fucking over our economy while they building up here and we watching it and we can't do shit. Let's be real. Let's be real. Anti-immigrant agenda. We must come together to reject his division. The president says the immigration ban is going to be temporary, but at the moment there does not appear to be a time horizon on the word temporary. Like I just said, I, I didn't hear anything about a time or anything, but can somebody explain to me how this is dividing anybody? He's not kicking nobody out. He's he not saying you got to go this way, you got to go that way. He's just saying nobody can be an immigrant right now. It's just not happening. Yeah. He didn't say migrate. You all can come here. You, you, you just not... You you can't be a part of this. Here again, the National Security Advisor. We'll have no, to wait me, and see. Uh, we need to bring the economy. Ignorant. Let me figure out the real definition of immigration before I'm just spewing out bullshit. The action of coming to live permanently in a foreign country. So, like I said, it it doesn't it didn't sound like the man said you can't come here. It just means you can't stay here. You you just can't stay here. Doesn't sound too bad to me. But they want to talk about the vision. This is the vision shit. Point out the good, then point out the bad. Can y'all do that at least? That's all I'm saying. Economy back. And, uh, and so we'll monitor all those factors uh, as we make decisions on travel restrictions and immigration restrictions and that sort of thing. We'll have to wait and see. Uh, we need to bring the economy back. And, uh, and so we'll monitor all those factors uh, as we make decisions on travel restrictions and immigration restrictions and that sort of thing. Look, no one likes it. Uh, the president didn't want to put travel restrictions in place. He didn't want to put immigration restrictions in place. But we have to because of this terrible virus that's been unleashed from foreign shores and, uh, and, and was not the responsibility of the United States. And we are still waiting this morning for a deal to replenish the Small Business Administration's Paycheck, Paycheck Protection Program. One of the last snags was how the 20... Before I let this go on, man, I, I got to say shout out to old dude who just said that. At least he, 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 he understood what could possibly be wrong with it, but he also pointed out what, what may be good with this. And that's respectable, at least. I, I need more people to do shit like that. I mean, it might be a, a part of this job, but shit... Shouldn't it be a part of a lot of other people's job, especially being in political in a political position and in leadership? You should be pointing out good and bad instead of just focusing on the bad. That's called fear mongering. $25 billion for testing would be allocated. Democrats demanding a national testing strategy, the White House preferring a state-driven approach. The White House did take more aggressive uh, action yesterday, though, on testing, taking steps to make more testing swabs and specimen test tubes available to states, but states still complaining about a shortage of some testing materials that require the federal government to step up. One of the biggest critics of the federal response to testing, New York's Governor Andrew Cuomo, is going to be here at the White House. Y'all know I hate. Yeah, I know I hate hearing that name. Y'all know I hate hearing that name. But what I was about to say is, I don't know what's so what what's really the truth about this testing shit. Cause they say like it, what it seems like is what the the narrative the media is pushing is they need more testing cause states are are having people who need tested and can't get testing cause there's not enough of it and. The government is saying they're sending enough testing, and if not, they're going to send it out. The people are saying they're not getting it soon enough. So I'm asking anybody who comes across this, please let me know in the comment section or find me somewhere on, 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 on the Internet. Let me know if you know somebody or even if you've been somebody, if you tried to get tested and you couldn't because, oh, shit, my bad. You you couldn't because there wasn't enough testing material. I want to know if this is this true or not, cause that, that's what it seems like, and it, it might see it might be a distraction. Please let me know if there's any truth to that. But what else?
Today, he is meeting with the president this afternoon at four o'clock. Sandra, so far that meeting is closed, as was the last meeting the two had, but we'll see. Maybe they'll open tubes available to states, but states still complaining about a shortage of some testing materials that require the federal government to step up. One of the biggest critics of the federal response to testing, New York's Governor Andrew Cuomo, is going to be here at the White House today. He is meeting with the president this afternoon at four o'clock. Sandra, so far that meeting is closed, as was the last meeting the two had, but we'll see. Maybe they'll open it up. Maybe. You just never know. And he'll and, and you, Cuomo will be having hope. his daily update a few moments from now. Yeah, exactly. All right, we'll anticipate that. John Roberts at the White I can't wait. Closed conversation. Damn, I keep bumping this. I'm sorry. But I hope this man Trump <laughs> tell this man, like, yo, we know about you. We about to get you up out of there. Um, I guess my final words on this is, I think there's some good behind it, um, especially if it's only temporary. Um, please understand the good behind it. And when y'all decide to elect officials, if you participate in elections, try to try to find people you can relate to who've had similar experiences to you. Um, people who don't have a problem pointing out the wrong, but also pointing out what's right when it comes to their opposition their uh, uh, opposers look for people like that um but yeah man hopefully there's gonna be some more news clips because it sound like this shit spicy i'm gonna try to get me some more reaction videos and, and see what people is really talking about in, in in the news and shit like that um also man while i'm while i'm while i'm got the opportunity if you all know any other places of, of news coverage and political news coverage and other sources, please let me know so I can do reaction videos to those because I don't want to keep going to the same sources because I feel like Fox News is getting redundant and I, I don't like seeing the same people all the fucking time. So if you knew, know any other news media outlets, whether it be on YouTube, Facebook, even Instagram, Twitter too, shit, if that works. Send it to me, man, so I can do reaction videos to those. I highly appreciate it. But, yeah, man, if you, you like what I'm doing here, you like these reaction videos, you find them informative, uh, shit, uh, valuable to you, entertaining, smash the subscribe button, like, comment, share. I really appreciate it, man.